Hi, Go Boxers. Today, we're going to learn how to get a value from a sensor attached to your GoPi Go. As always, I'm going to start out by connecting to my GoPi Go. Choosing VNC. And entering my password. Once I'm connected, I go ahead and start Scratch. I haven't updated my GoBox yet this month. This would be a great time to do that. And then I can go ahead and start programming. In the past, we've used broadcast commands to tell the robot things, how much, which motors to turn on to move forward, or when to stop the motors. Today, we're going to use broadcast commands to get information from the robot, to use a sensor. We're going to start the same way we always do, by telling Scratch when our program should start. I'm going to start this program when the L key is pressed for light. When I press the L key, I'm going to use a new broadcast command. I'm going to go ahead and broadcast light. This program would work right now. I broadcast light. The GoPi Go hears that, and it tells me the current value of the light sensor. That won't help me yet much yet, though, because I haven't found any way for Scratch to then tell me the value of that light sensor. So we're going to learn one more command, and this is not one of our yellow control commands. This is under looks. Now the looks command all make the cat do things, not the GoPi Go. And most of the time, that's not very useful to us. In this case, though, we're going to make the cat say something. The cat saying hello to us doesn't sound very helpful. We're going to make one more change to make this a useful cat. Under sensing, we go all the way to the bottom, and it says here, sensor value. I'm going to grab that sensor value, and I'm going to drop it right in here where the word hello is. I take my mouse right over hello to do that. I'm going to change the slider. I don't want the sensor value of a slider because I don't have one connected right now. Instead, I have a light sensor connected. Let's look at this program one more time before we run it. When I press the L key, broadcast light, say, hey, go pie, go check the value of the light sensor, and then have the cat say it. The light value of the light sensor is going to change over time. I generally press the, light, the L button several times to kind of see what kind of readings I'm getting. It might take an average of a few, or I might look at what happens when I cover up the light sensor and uncover it. In a future lesson, we're going to learn how to use a loop so that we're always checking on the light sensor. But for now, let's just hit L a few times. Four fifty-seven. So press it again. Four sixty-three. I'm in a fairly brightly lit room right now, so that's probably for me the value of the amount of light when the light sensor is uncovered in a light room. I'm gonna just go ahead and put my thumb over the sensor. Press L. Oh, I press it a couple of times, but now I'm down to seventeen, fourteen, zero even. So the number gets much smaller when I cover it up, which makes sense. When I uncover it again, the very first time I press it, I might still be getting an old value. But as I press it again, I'm going to start to get higher numbers. I have it facing down. Let's turn it so it's back up towards the fluorescent light. And there we go. We're starting to get higher numbers again. So now you know how to get the value from a sensor and display it to you in Scratch.